Rosie Hardy. This is Rosie Hardy Gardening. Over the last 35 years, myself and my husband Rob, in partnership, have been running a herbaceous perennial nursery. We grow a huge range of herbaceous perennials. All are grown in containers and live outside, so they are hard grown plants. During the 35 years, we have been selling at all of the major flower shows around the UK and also mail order within the UK only. And we've got to the time of year when we're looking back at what we did over the year, the plants that did really well. And it's quite impressive to have a look and think because there are certain shows where you will go and one plant will be a real star and then you sell out of that stock and it isn't actually the same when you are at the nursery itself or when you go looking at the mail order and what is selling uh, via trade. So it's quite interesting to see the plants. So say in the spring, we had Gilenia trifoliata looking fantastic. And that went really mad at the NEC, which is a Birmingham show. And the reason for that was it was on the TV. So as soon as a plant gets highlighted, be, you know, it went on TV, Carol Klein thought it was fantastic, one of her favorite plants, and away it went. It just went out the door. Everybody was coming asking for the Galenia. It did look fantastic on the display. Galenia trifoliata is a fabulous spring to early summer flowering perennial that grows up to somewhere in the region of 60 to 80 centimetres. That's two, two and a half feet. Quite upright in its growth, and then it will spread at the base and make nice clumps to around about 30 centimetres or one feet. And at the top, you get these fabulous starry white flowers. They start with slightly pinky orange buds, opening up to these beautiful white flowers on the top looks absolutely stunning for about six weeks and then it will lose its flowers and then in the autumn the foliage goes the most amazing colors lovely oranges and just looks fantastic later on this is a plant for semi-shade it does prefer the soil to be slightly on the acidic although it will just take alkaline soil but a really really brilliant plant for early on and brightening up a space we were at Malvern Spring Show and there Veronica Gentianoides Tissington White was the star of the show. It just sold and sold and sold, which is brilliant. It's a lovely plant. We really love that plant. This is popular in the spring because this is when it flowers. You get these beautiful, large individual flowers going up in a flower spike and they are pale, pale blue, almost white with the most amazing blue veins and blue anthers. Their foliage makes a flat matte and there's dark green, quite rounded leaves and that is semi evergreen through the whole of the year. These flower spikes come up at the end of April, beginning of May, in flower for about four weeks, and they just look stunning. Around about 30 to 45 centimeters, so a foot to 18 inches in height, and a spread of about the same. Just a super herbaceous perennial. When we went to Wisley Flower Show, there was a beautiful uh, Stokes Aster, so Stokesia Lavis uh, Klaus Gelato, that just caught everybody's eye and it went out, uh, you know, people were buying it and buying it. Named after a brilliant German plantsman. Now these are superb. This is the Stokes Aster, but it's the perennial form, not the annual form beautiful big blue semi-double flowers which are just fantastic and they flower brilliantly mid-summer time into maybe into the autumn. Not very tall so you're talking about a compact plant that grows to about 30 centimeters by 30 centimeters maybe 45 in height so that is a foot across by a foot to 18 inches in height when it's in flower. It's something that loves full sun, free draining soil and just looks fantastic because it flowers and flowers and flowers. 
Now, it's not necessarily that these are the plants that sold best from the nursery throughout the year. There's one more that also went out well, and that is Helianthus lemon queen. Now, that will sell most times through the year, but again, it was looking brilliant at Wisley Flower Show and at Malvern Autumn, and people just were wanting it. It's a beautiful back of the border perennial. Now this is a star of the border for the autumn. It gets really quite a large plant, not only in height, but also by spread. So it has a little bit of the tendency to be a tad thuggish in the back of the border, but it's not too bad because you can split it quite easily. It stands up really well, has strong stems. You are talking about a plant that will get up to somewhere around about four or five feet, so that is 120 to 150 centimetres in height, and then at least three feet around at the bottom, so a metre across as a spreading plant. But do split it up regularly, and then you can keep it under control. The flowers are beautiful, soft, lemon yellow, and it just makes a fantastic back of the border statement for your late season and that means somewhere around about September, October, it's really doing its stuff and looking fantastic. Those are ones which, because we'd gone out to a show, we'd put on our beautiful displays of our cottage garden perennials. People could see them in their full height, looking at full size. They were wandering around, maybe in gardens, so maybe in Wisley and seeing them growing there and wanting to buy it from uh, us as a nursery. Or, as I highlighted earlier, they had been highlighted by either magazines or by the TV, and therefore they were becoming popular. Whereas on the nursery itself, our top five in order were Anemone Frilly Knickers, which is one we've bred ourselves, followed by GM Totally Tangerine, which always sells well every year, followed by GM Scarlet Tempest, then Eryngium Big Blue, which is a fantastic sea holly, really beautiful plant, and the fifth, number five, was Astrantia Burgundy Manor. So Anemone Frilly Knickers is beautiful, it has lovely purple reverses to the flower. So the flower bud looks as though it's purple and then as it opens up, the petals change and slowly soften and become a beautiful white. So it has a hint of purple on the back and fully double flowers, absolutely superb plant. Now, unlike a lot of the Japanese anemones that run around and take over the world, this is a clump it is bred from a spring anemone crossed with an autumn flowering peren perennial anemone and then cr back crossed. And then this particular form is a sport from another one called Dreaming Swan. So there's been a lot going on in getting this plant to be free flowering, but also to remain as a clump. So it makes it much better for the smaller garden. It will grow when in flower, maximum of two feet, so 60 centimetres maximum height with the flowers, and then a spread of a foot to 18 inches, that is 30 centimetres to 45 centimetres, as the clump at the base. Now, it's a plant that likes to go in a little bit of sun, a little bit of shade, and it doesn't want to dry out too much. So it wants a reasonable soil in a sun part shade situation. Geum totally tangerine. Well, ever since we launched this plant at Chelsea Flower Show, this plant has been an absolute winner. It is a brilliant, sterile geum. So that means because it's sterile, it just flowers and flowers and flowers. Therefore, you don't get any seed. You're gonna keep the one clump. It's a really good, strong growing plant and the Base will get to somewhere between 30 and 40 centimetres, so that's a foot to 18 inches. And then in height wise, it starts flowering in the early part of the season, somewhere around about um, usually end of April, it will start flowering. It starts flowering at, at about 50, 60 centimetres, so about two feet. And then gradually the stems get higher and higher, and it can be as tall as one metre. Uh, especially later on in the season. Just a fantastic soft orange. It just looks fabulous in the borders. 
works really well with Alliums and the Pita. Geum Scarlet Tempest. Now this is another hybrid Geum and this is a beautiful one. Again, it is sterile. And this one has a slightly different habit to the previous one. So this one will go only to two feet by two feet. So that's 60 centimeters by 60 centimeters. Starts flowering probably end of March, beginning of April, and then hasn't read the labels to say that it stops and it keeps on going and it will still have flower on it probably by the time you get to September, October. We've actually had it flowering in the snow here at the nursery, so that just shows how long it will flower. It is a really good clump former, and instead of going upright, its flowers go out sideways in a really lovely, ar slightly arching V shape. And it is semi-double flowers, so really big, semi-double, scarlety orange flowers on that particular form. Oryngium Big Blue. Well, the sea hollies are absolutely fantastic. And this is one of the ones with really good blue flowers. They are very dissected and very painful if you touch them. Just remember, they look as though they've got sharp points. They do have sharp points. It is, at the end of the day, with its common name, holly. So yes, those points on the end of the flowers are quite sharp but it's a beautiful plant. You get fabulous foliage at the bottom, which has got white veining on it, making a, a smallish clump somewhere around about a foot, so 30 centimeters. And they get to somewhere around about two to two and a half feet, 60 to 75 centimeters. And then the flowers open up and the outer bit is actually a bract. It's just a, an ornamental leaf that makes that shape really beautiful, very star-like or what's the other way of putting it? Split like a really dissected snowflake. So they're gonna be green to start off with and then they have a cone in the center. And then as the summer progresses, they start to become electric blue all the way up the stems, electric blue on those flower heads. And they look absolutely stunning. Sun to part shade, any reasonable soil, really good form. Then the last one for this year, number five, Astrantia burgundy manor. This is a huge, big, dark burgundy flowered Astrantia, which has black tips to the ends of the petals and the stems are burgundy colored as well. It has good dark green foliage, makes lovely big clumps, probably 18 inches, 45 centimeters round at the base. Foliage goes up to about a foot, 30 centimeters, and the flowers are held above that up to around about two, two and a half feet, so 75 centimeters high. And then the individual flowers are huge. They are really, really super. Astrantia Burgundy Manor. Now, all of those are ones that we can guarantee every year, year on year, will be in that top five or maybe the top 10. And those ones are not the same as the ones that I stated, which were star plants through the year at different shows. So it really depends on the time of year that you go to a show or the fact that certain plants are always going to go out at a steady rate through the year and be the top five. Thank you very much for watching and please do subscribe to the channel.